Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Pastor Rick, and we are continuing in our Lenten devotional. This happens to be uh, day nine, and we are going through the book from um, George Alcevedo talking about everybody needs some cave time. And we are in a chapter two with all these different caves, and we're dealing with the cave of fear, the cave of fear. And our verse for today um, comes from Psalms 27, uh, verse 1. A lot of chapter, whenever you read the book, is talking about David and the things that he was fearful of, but how he used it as a source to encounter God. And this verse talks more about that. And it's Psalms 27, verse 1, that says this. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Uh, let us pray. Bless the Lord God, we thank you. We thank you for each day, God, that you give to us. For indeed, God, they are a blessing. And God, we are thankful, Lord, that we have um, a source as we read this book about cave time that all of us in some way, shape, or form, God, deal with fear. But God, how we are reminded, Lord, in this verse that we have you, that we have light. And God, with this, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, many years before um, I began to go in ministry and went to seminary and uh, became a pastor, uh, I used to work for uh, the Boy Scouts of America. And my job was twofold. Um, the first thing I had to do was I had to manage all the units within my district and make sure um, that they were healthy and um, all of the boys were getting merit badges and going through the ranks and so forth. And the other part of my job was I was what I call a scout executive, which meant I went into neighborhoods uh, where there was traditionally no scouting and we were to uh, put units together and give experiences to boys who never had it before. So I remember one summer we took a, a group of group of boys and these boys were huge. You know, they looked like football players. They were like six foot three, you know, 230 pounds and just massive guys. And they were just tough. You're like, I wouldn't even mess with them because they might run me over. But I remember on the first day of camp that as the time uh, went and as the hours passed by in the day, as it started to get darker, that those big, tough, rough guys would start getting closer and closer to the light. We had lamps that were on the benches and I could see them kind of hanging out around the light until the point where it got to nighttime around eight and nine o'clock. That's where they were. They didn't go anywhere. And, you know, I would go and this might be me, <laughs> but I would go and mess with the light and like mess with them, flicker it. They'd be like, hey, hey, Mr. Jones, stop, man. Stop playing, man. Stop playing. I said, y'all scared? They're like, no, no, we're not scared. I'm like, oh, OK, uh -huh. all right, all right. But they were scared to death of the darkness. And they found comfort uh, in that light. The electricity, that light bulb, that thing that was in there uh, making this source of light shine, they found comfort in that. In the same way that we look at this verse, that it's a Psalm of David, when it talks about we, we will experience darkness. We will have those times in our lives where we are afraid, that we do tremble, we do, are scared of things. But we are reminded, like David knew, that he knew that the Lord was his light and his salvation. And we have the same thing. We have Christ. That no matter what darkness that you're going through, and you will experience darkness. Some of you may be going through it right now. And you're going through this Lenten devotional. You're reminded that you can cling to something greater than electricity. Something greater than a light bulb. Something greater than that lamp that was shining uh, in the darkness during this Boy Scout trip. That you have Christ. You have Christ uh, that you can lean on and be reminded that he is your light. And not only is he your light, that he's your salvation. The darkness will come and darkness will be there. But you do have him. So we want to encourage you that to remember this verse. It's something you may even want to memorize or you want to write down and, you know, put it in your mirror or, you know, put a sticky note and, and stick it on your car or whatever. And just remember that. Just re keep reminding yourself of who you have on your side. And it's Christ, who is your light and your salvation. I pray that you be blessed 
on this day, on this ninth day of our Lent devotional. God bless you.